The nation's second-ranked team, Illinois, in the midst of an unbeaten season and with a possible Rose Bowl bid in the offing, risks its record and prestige against Michigan before a standing room crowd at Champaign, Illinois. This game matches brother against brother. Pete Elliott on the right coaches Illinois, and his brother Bump coaches Michigan. In previous meetings, Bump has had the hex on Pete, and another victory for the Wolverines would knock the Illini out of first place in the Big Ten. The Illini are brilliantly led by quarterback Mike Tolliver. Passing is Mike's department, while the Illinois ground game is headed up by Jim Grabowski, a 210-pound sophomore fullback. Michigan mounts the first serious offense in the first quarter. Bob Timberlake, the Wolverine six foot four junior quarterback, swings to the left for a 17 yard gain. Timberlake takes off to the right, then throws a jump pass to John Henderson and the Wolverines have a first down. Timberlake hides the ball on his hip and looks for a receiver. Bob decides to leg it and spins into a lion eye territory at the 48. Illinois can't chop down Timberlake. Bob passes and Dick Renfis makes a beautiful catch for a seven yard game. The Wolverines stay with a winner. It's the Timberlake to Renfis combination and it clicks again at the end of the first period. Michigan's momentum carries into the second quarter and that's Dick Renfis slashing for the touchdown. The underdog Wolverines smell an upset as they take a seven to nothing lead. Knowing defeat could be disastrous, Illinois fights with fury late in the second period. Mike Tolliver's pass is taken by Bill Pasco for a 28 yard game. Tolliver keeps the airwaves buzzing as he throws a sideline pass to Greg Schumacher, good for 17 yards. The Michigan secondary is being riddled by the sharp shooting Tolliver. Mike sidearms one to Pasco for another first down. Pete Elliott's boys are closing in on the goal line with Tolliver passing once again, but John Rouser leaps into the picture and makes a key interception. Rouser rattles off a rousing return as the Wolverines turn back an Illinois threat. At halftime, Michigan sets the pace with a 7 to nothing lead. Illinois pulls out the stoppers in the third quarter and that sophomore Jim Grabowski breaking free up the middle for 20 yards. The wingback goes in motion as Mike Tolliver retreats to pass. Mike fakes a throw and takes off on a first down jaunt to his own 40 yard line. The forward wall opens up a nice hole and in a flash Al Wheatland is through for a fine 12 yard gain. Pete Elliott has his second unit in there. Fred Costardo flings a pass to Wayne Paulson who weaves his way for 14 yards to the Michigan 29. This reserve unit is packing a powerful wallet. Ron Fern makes a gorgeous one handed catch giving Illinois a first down on the one yard line. A monstrous mountain of Michigan muscle faces the Illini but Al Wheatland cracks across and Illinois has a touchdown. The fighting Illini are going all the way. They're gambling for a two pointer. Tolliver rolls out to the left and behind a beautiful block Mike crashes into Pater to put Illinois ahead eight to seven. In the final period Illinois clings tenaciously to its one point lead but Michigan gets a big break when Jim Warren fumbles. John Rouser comes up with his second big play of the game and the Wolverines own the ball on the Illinois 11. Michigan aims to cash in on its good fortune. Bob Timberlake hits John Henderson as the Wolverines drive inside the five. Fullback Mel Anthony comes through with the biggest play of the year for Michigan. It's only a one yard plunge but it's good enough for the winning touchdown. Michigan shocks the nation's second ranked team with a 14 to 8 victory. This disheartening defeat knocks Illinois out of first place in the Big Ten and the Rose Bowl bid is still very much up for grabs.